Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we're going to have a look at another charger. This is the Turnergy Reactor T240. So this is a twin channel charger. In other words, you can charge two LiPo's at once. The great thing about this one, you can charge lithium high on high volts. In other words, high volt LiPo's, normal LiPo's, nickel metal hydrides, nickel metal nickel cads and your standard LiPo's and smart batteries. So if you buy the connector for that you can buy that plugs into these, you can get them on eBay, you can charge phantom batteries with this controller, with this charger rather than using the charger that comes with the phantom. So it's fully touch screen as you can see, to set up one you go channel one there and then when you set your next one up go to channel two. I'm going to show you through it, you can adjust your settings on here, so you can adjust your low voltage inputs, your buzzer volumes, your balance speed, if you want to charge it quicker, channel 1 settings and channel 2. So this public for everything, channel 1 is obviously this one and channel 2 is this one. So let's just go back, let's go back to there. So let me show you how it works. Let's put a battery on it and let me show you. So probably going to have to swap cameras here so I apologise for this. So we're going to charge a battery for the Xeno with a cable that I made for it and we're going to charge a normal 3S LiPo so in the pack with the charger you get all these cables so there's a load of different cables here so let me just show you what you get so you're getting a standard charge cable you're then getting the cable to convert to a note to anything you want you get in a cable that would plug in here to do your RC car, I think it's Tamiya and then on the other side you're getting exactly the same again so you're getting two sets because obviously you need two so you're going to need these two and you're going to need two balance boards which it comes with so it does come with a pair of balance boards let me just show you these so here's your balance board and then you get the ribbon connector for the balance board. So that clips into there and we need two of them. So we need to plug that into here again. So we've got two balance boards and two charger ports. The charger ports obviously black to black, red to red, balance plug goes in here it's a nice tight fit fit which is nice same again on this side just plug this one in okay so now you're set up and ready to charge so I'm gonna swap cameras now to the overhead camera so I can show you how the setup works Okay, so this is a view from the other camera. I've come down from the top now. I'm trying my best to try and kill the glare. So the, there is a bit, the screen doesn't look as bright as it really is because it's glared out. So if you remember in channel one, I connected up the 4S, the, sorry, the 3S4000 and in channel two, I connected up the high volt, which is for the Xeno. So if we go into channel one, press LiPo, yeah, you can see that all right, can't you? So on 3S, as you can see, 3000, I'm charging it at three amps. I can do an end the end storage wants to be four the end storage wants to be four point two per cell. Storage mode would charge it to fifty percent of the current use. Charge is without balancing it quicker and discharge obviously to discharge the battery totally. So if we hit start on there. So on the side here you've got your settings, so you've got your current going in, your voltage, your input voltage. And your internal temperature sensor and there's no external temperature sensor because I haven't got the sensor for it and the capacity at the bottom and if I click this button here you will see that I have my cell voltage per cell and also as a percentage which is really nice so if I click out of that one and I click channel 2 when we're still charging so this is charging in a minute I then click the high volt which is because I've got remember the Xeno battery in here I then want to set it up at a 3S 3 amp again but now I want 4.35 as my end volt and same again I can do all these things at the top so if I hit start on the Xeno battery 
there you go it started it same thing on the side and I get myself voltage this is actually a fully charged battery but if I go back and I go back to channel 1 you'll see the graph now start to build so that's my charged graph here and on channel 2 it'll probably do one even though it's going to put very little in as you can see it's just starting to do something there so let's stop it because the fan's really loud on it so let's go back into that so remember I mentioned smart mode to you earlier so smart mode allows me to be um, use it for charging up a phantom etc battery so if I go into smart mode the settings are slightly different in here you got your maximum voltage you can put into it so if you've got smart there so 6s smart 1 which is a 3s battery he's going to put 12.6 volts in the maximum current of 4 amps you don't adjust anything else this does it for you so it'll charge up obviously phantom but you don't get phantom batteries much quicker you have to buy an adapter cable they do sell them on ebay and various other places like hobby kings them as well but they are decent for what they are and then memory is a great function so in memory i can change these so if you look i've got it on 2s 5 amp and then a final charge rate of 4.2 so i could go into this into this into modify and i could change this to suit what i want and then what will happen is when I go and connect this up to a charger, I can just hit the memory button from here, hit start, and it will start charging it, just from using that. So you can have six memories set up on the screen at any one time, and you can change in about them. Calibration allows you to calibrate this up in case you've got cell variation or whatever. This is absolutely being perfect. A monitor gives you a quick indication if you want to bang a battery on just to check what life it's got in it. This will tell you that which is another great thing so let me swap back to the other camera and we'll go back to there okay so you've seen what it, how it charges it really is a great charger these come in at about 51 pound i think they are but i got this in a hobby king sale the other week and i think i paid 41 50 for it in the easter sale look out for offers but for 50 quid i still think it's a good charger this thing's running off the mains which is quite unusual for chargers these days or you can run it if you want to get more power out of it you can actually create a connector that goes into your power supply i normally would run this probably on my 40 amp power supply but for today purposes today i connected it to the mains so it does come with the mains cable with it so really if you bought this it's ready to go so the reason i'm showing you this is because a lot of people have messaged me about when i had making this cable up here and asking me if their charger is going to charge it and they've got things like b6s imax b6 so the problem with imax b6 is you don't know if it's genuine and b it's old fashioned it's old hat this thing is much much better it's safer to use. I don't particularly like the B6 because the genuine B6, if you can get older one, fantastic charger, but still, compared to today's market, this does so much more. I really do love this charger. Uh, I'm not putting a link in the description. You can go find it on Hobby King if you want, um, but it's a good charger. I think it's worth the money, and especially for today's market, having a twin charger for that kind of price, I don't think it's bad. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.